what's going on? Chris Allrounder here and I'm coming at you today with a very special video. This is going to be the biggest video for Irish people right now because it's about you, everybody in Ireland, it's about all of us, we can all relate to this stuff. It's about the Irish and alcohol. Be prepared to be life hacked. Here I am, Chris Rounder here, and I'm so glad that you're coming back to me today. Thank you so much for all my subscribers, the likes, the comments. Uh, one of the videos really blew up because of it was World War III stuff, but I tell you what, right? That really resonates with all the Irish people right now, and everybody across the world because we're known for this. It's for our alcohol abuse and our alcoholism. So this is it. This is what we're going to talk about today, is about how you hack your way out of being an alcoholic, and how you hack your way out of being an alcohol abuser and the person that is a complete disgrace to your family and to everybody around you. Okay, let's start from one thing. Stop drinking. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you are a disgrace to yourself, just stop drinking. They're really, really seriously, stop it. If you can't handle it, if you can't handle the truth, then you need to stop doing it. You just have to stop. It's like in being in the courtroom with Tom Cruise and Jack Nicholson. We all know, like, that you're fucked when Jack Nicholson says, you can't handle the truth. Number two, drink lots of water. I'm not sure if that works, to be honest, but like, that's what they say. They say, drink lots of water. Well, who's drinking lots of water in Ireland? If you say to an Irish person to drink a glass of water after a pint, they're going to look at you and they're going to say with their eyes, I will murder you if you ever say anything like that to me again, because you realize how much I have to go to the toilet already. Number three, drink some coffee. Again, it's a poor suggestion for an Irish person, but it could make sense when the person is very volatile and he's after coming into the house, or she, she or he, or whatever in, in between it, new gender neutrals, comes into the house and is breaking the house up and you get them under control for a second and you basically pour coffee down them. That will wake them up. That will wake them up eventually. Or even if you throw coffee over them, that could wake them up because of the smell, it will help. But don't suggest drinking coffee to somebody in a bar. You will get a glass thrown at you in Ireland. <laughs> Number four, start shifting someone. If you shift someone, it stops you from drinking. And especially if that person isn't a huge drinker themselves, that's what you need. You need a person that's not drinking a lot and you start shifting them because hopefully they will carry you out of the place. That's a really good suggestion. I've done that myself a good few times. Um, you know, I've ended up with a, a couple of, um, you know, girls that really looked after me and, and I'm very grateful to them. Thank you so much, girls. Number five, you need to start eating some food. This is no problem for Irish people. Irish people have this thing. They have this way of doing stuff. It's like they drink alcohol and they fuck a donut kebab down their throat. Part, listen, if there's any brands out there, I'm, I'm all ears. Chris Allrounder is all rounding the brand deals. Okay, so listen, let's do it. Let's let's do this shit. Let's let's get the passive income started, right? I got 12 months to to start them. Let's do it. Do get in be, while while get in now, while I'm nobody. Anyway, so number six. Um, do you know anybody that's gone to treatment or? Or anything like that, maybe you should start talking to them. I don't know. Anyway, let's get back to the other stuff, right? The fun stuff. Number seven, I think it is. Is it number six or seven? I don't know. Number seven, I think. What you need to do is you need to call a taxi and have it booked and make sure that that taxi driver is on your side so that they can actually come into the pub and catch you and drag you out of the place because they're, they're one of your family or they know your family well or they're like an ex-guard or something like that. That's what you need. You need a bodyguard. You need somebody that's going to literally catch you, knock you out if necessary, and push you into the taxi and fuck you in a window at home or something. Number eight, if you can go to Australia, you can be an alcoholic over there and you can pay for everything yourself. You can go to Australia and work in the mines, right? And you can earn, I don't know how many thousand it is a week. And you can just literally, apparently it's the best place on earth for, for Irish alcoholics. Number nine, you need to, oh, this is fucking tough, like, you know, I mean, being an, being an Irish drinker myself, you know, not, not as much these days, but I, I do drink, I like a drink, 
you know, I like to get fucking trashed, you know. I like to get absolutely annihilated drunk every now and again because you know what, sometimes I just feel like a piece of fucking shit. I just want to just fucking get myself fucking drunk, you know. I just want to go into the pub and just get drunk and just fucking ride someone. Like everybody's looking at my life and saying, oh, you're great, you have this nice glasses and, and your hair looks well and, and, and you know, you have, you have a YouTube channel now and you're doing well. And, but I just want to just get fucking pissed sometimes, like, because I fucking hate myself, to be honest. But you know what? Number 10. Let's move on to number 10. If in doubt, stay away from the spirits. Because we all know the fucking spirits have spirits in them and they will demonize you. They will actually turn you into a demon. If you can just drink 14 to 15 pints, you should get a, a type of drunk that is close enough to being annihilated from a bottle of vodka. So stay away from the spirits and stay on the pints. You may feel suicidal by the end of the night. Number 11, start doing other things. Going up mountains, going down the park, go and do an exercise, go and running and treat it like you're drinking. So what you do is you switch your obsession for stuff that is healthier. You're basically the same thing except you're fit. You still hate yourself, but you're fit. You still don't talk about anything, but you're fit out, you know? That's, that's, that's number 11, I think it's a good one. And step 12, what you need to do really ultimately is this. You need to grow the fuck up. And you need to start drinking at home because nobody will fucking see you there. And stop going down the town and making a fucking fool of yourself. That's what you do. This is the 12 hacks to successful uh, drinking. I mean, who wants to be successful at drinking? Like, what the fuck? I don't get it. Irish people, we got more than the drink. We got more than it. You've just been life hacked. Yeah,